Hi everyone. So now I'll talk about uh, variables in PHP and variables are really important and very basic thing of any programming language. So that's why we'll start from basic. So we'll discuss what are the variables, use of variables. Uh, we'll uh, check out some examples with the variables and I'll let you know why PHP variables are a bit smarter than some other programming languages variables. So I'm not talking about each and every programming language, but in some programming language variables are a bit complex. Uh, but in PHP variables are really simple and easy to use. So we'll just uh, make a quick comparison there uh, between PHP variables and some other programming languages variables. All right. And at last we'll discuss, discuss some important interview questions also. So now let's move on the first question. What are the variables? So there we'll discuss two definitions. First one is uh, very simple and basic and second one is bit advanced. So, uh, if you just want to give a very simple definitions, then you can say that variables are the storage location there you can store any kind of data, any kind of data, for example, name, number, email ID, anything that you want to store, you can store in the variables. And this definition, the both definitions are not only applicable on the PHP, they are applicable for all the programming languages. All right. And second thing is you can say that variables are an abstracted storage location with one word abstracted that definition will become bit advanced how i let you know but firstly let's check the what is the meaning of uh, abstract so if you talk about the real storage location so you can say that in real life when we want to store some water or some liquid thing then we can use bottle so this is the real storage location or we can use the bag to just some solid uh, thing if you want to uh, store so these are the these are the real storage location but when we are using uh, storage location that which can't be imagined or you cannot just uh, touch that location storage location that time we can say that this is the abstractive uh, location for example uh, you're in memory card there is some memory but if you want to store some songs and movie then we can store but we can't touch that song or that um, uh, memory storage part right so that time we can say that this is the abstracted storage location simply and similarly in variables we can store the name number any kind of data but they are uh, the abstracted storage location because we cannot touch these uh, memory and variables and all all right Fine. So this is the definition of the variables. You simply can say that these are the storage location or these are the abstracted storage location there. You can store any kind of data, for example, name, number or uh, any kind of data array and string and list that we'll just uh, uh, learn in the upcoming parts. But you can say that. All right. Okay. Second thing. All right. So we can just declare variable. We will store some uh, data there. But what is the use of the variables? So see, there are lots of uh, uses of the variable that we'll uh, learn in the upcoming parts also. But on a basic level, I will just want to let you know. So if you want to use the same thing in multiple time in programming language, that time you can store that value, that thing in a variable and use that in a multiple time. For example, uh, I'm very sure you uh, ever used the uh, uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or Google. So if uh, one value is used at a multiple place, that value can be number or any name. If this is used on a multiple place. So that time you can just put that value in the variable and use that variable to the multiple names. So that if you want to change that thing on a multiple places, we will change that value on only on the one place on the variable declaration and at this will be replaced automatically on the all places right so don't worry if you are not just uh, catching it uh, i'm just writing a program and very sure that that time you will easily understand it all right so firstly i'm creating a one more file uh, you can put any name to this i'm putting there variable.php right so this is the screen there you will see the output variable.php this is uh, we are just nothing displaying there that's why this is completely blank so now i am just uh, adding the php tag and inside this for a moment i am just putting there hello 
right to display it and uh, uh, if you are not aware about echo then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box with the playlist so here you can see that the output so for example you want to display a name five time on the screen i know that uh, 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 you don't want to dis display the uh, same name five time on a single way but if you are using the any complex website if you are making any complex website then there is a bit possibility that same number and value can be repeating over the page all right so what i'm going to do there i'm just displaying the name anil and to just give a line break i am putting the echo and just adding there br cool and i am just printing it five times simply one two here there you can see that the output until two time three four and five right saving it all right great so now let's uh, client will come back to you and said that just change this name uh, anil to the siddhu and what you will do you will say okay fine i will just replace it on five places right and here is we got the output that's fine but again after some time if client will come back and say just change it with the anil siddhu then uh, this is a time taking process you know that there is only five six line that's fine but in a big project that could be a time taking process so better to be just create a variable with the uh, name but whenever you want to create a variable you just need to start it with the dollar sign there are some other rules also some other protocols also that i let you know in the next part whenever you are creating a variable because if i am just teaching you everything about variables in this part that will be a bit longer so i don't want that so just creating a name or declaring a variable uh, you can simply put their dollar and any name just say for example a and name or whatever you want to give the name to this variable you can do that right and i'm simply putting their quotes anil siddhu closing it and now i will use this dollar name simply all right and i will just change this string with the dollar name and now what is the benefit of it first of all let's check out the output this is okay or not see so now the benefit of this is so if client or your manager will come back again and just say just change this name for example let's make it sam then you just need to change it only one place and it will automatically change or change or the other places here you can see that great perfect so this is the one example so i'm just giving you one more example so let's say you have uh, you want to just display a output there right i'm just putting over the three place also so that uh, that's enough right and there you want to multiply 10 with the 5 this is pretty simple and output should be there 50 right perfect no issue so after that uh, just client said okay multiply this 10 with the 50 and multiply this 10 with the 3 and multiple times so on right so now that's okay we got the output maybe uh, just just after some time client will come back and say just change this 5 to the 7 you said okay that's fine and you will just change it again so again if you uh, client will come back and say that change this 7 with the 50 then again it's hard if this is uh, more than 10 20 time on a page or any application so again better thing is just create a echo create a variable i'm creating a, a num that means number and putting their 50 inside this and replacing 7 with the uh, num right again 7 with the num and 7 with the num and now you will get the output there and if next time client or uh, whatever manager will come back 
then simply change the value of num for example they are they just want to change 100 and let's see uh, just you just change this uh, num value and this is automatically replaced with the other places also right so with that way you can use the variables uh, i hope you enjoyed that if you just have any query you can ask me in the comment box and for interview questions uh, okay first thing is why php variables are smarter than other programming languages so if you ever use the variables in c c plus plus or in java that time you have to declare the data type also like integer string character boolean but in php there is an automatic type conversion you can use any variable and you can declare any kind of uh, value to that even for example so i'm just putting their dollar any variable and initially i'm declaring their 10 right and echo this uh, dollar any right and you will just get the out output 10 at the last after refresh page perfect so uh, again if you just want to replace this dollar any and you will just change this value to the hello then this will simply be changed uh, let me just put the semicolon there this will be automatically changed with the hello so there is a no uh, a type foundation you can easily they are very loosely coupled so you can uh, assign any kind of value to the any kind of variable they are automatically type conversion are maintained with the php right so that's all and if you still uh, have any query you can ask me in the comment box uh, one more thing interview question so interview question then again can ask why php variables are smarter than other programming language uh, there can be asked to the what are the variables uses also so these kind of question that can be come out to the uh, variable and in next part we'll understand uh, the rules and protocols how we can create the variables and all all right and please subscribe this channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section this is my paytm number for donation thank you everyone for watching this video